For thousands of years, some say as far back as the genesis of mankind, the Aboriginals have had a close affinity with nature and the desert land of Central Australia. Only 200 years ago, Europeans first settled on the Australian coastline and then slowly began to move into the arid centre and so became the birthplace of a town called Alice Springs. Alice Springs is the heartland of the Central Australian outback. It's a city of 27,000 people surrounded by vast open spaces. There's a certain pioneering spirit here forged by rugged individualism in a harsh desert environment. Alice today is a modern city, a place where travellers gather to explore the outback. The Australian central desert is beautifully harsh, a parched land where wildflowers provide a kaleidoscope of colours where thirsty trees are rooted into a vast artesian sea. When not soaring over this vast sunburnt land, these birds of prey show off their talents on the ground. We fly wedge-tailed eagles, we fly brown falcons, black kites, black-breasted buzzards, we have kestrels, um, a peregrine falcon and barn owls here as well. If you want a bird's eye view of the outback, then the best way is to take an early morning ride on a flying balloon. It's about as close as you can get to flying like a bird, drifting silently with the wind. You know, look at the mountain ranges and uh, look for kangaroos, check out the desert, things like that. You know. And that sunrise really is something very special. Unbelievable. Viewed from the air, the McDonnell Ranges are impressive. The wide open spaces are also very special. Yeah, it's a bit different to back home. Yeah? Yeah, we haven't got these wide open spaces back home. Piloting a balloon requires a level of skill. Okay, more. Early settlers to Alice Springs relied on camel trains to bring in materials and stores from the coastal cities. The importance of camels as beasts of burden diminished after the arrival of the telegraph and modern transportation, which overcame the tyranny of distance. Around 150 years ago, the early European explorers brought in the first camels from India and Afghanistan. And in fact, Australia has the largest numbers of free-ranging camels in the world today. Original pioneering homesteads can still be found in Alice, along with the original springs, after which the town was named. If you crave for more nostalgia, sign up for an early morning camel ride along the sands of the Todd River. The river rarely flows, but if it does, and you happen to see the banks overflow with water, then, as local legend tells it, you have found your home in Alice. <laughs>